everyone, welcome to Prudent Media News. Now look at the headlines. A sharpshooter from Chota Rajan's gang arrested in Goa by Mumbai police. Arrest in connection with attack on Dawood Ibrahim's brother Iqbal Kaskar in Mumbai. Mumbai police keep Goa police in dark. Only two weeks remaining for Rajya Sabha polls. Congress, BJP yet to decide their candidates. Youth protest at Azad Maidan against MOI decision. Campaigns to begin in all colleges, GVMs and PES to observe Black Day on Saturday. A lady police constable files sexual harassment complaint against a DYSP in the crime branch. Lady alleges DYSP of sending lewd and vulgar messages to her. Talasha Prabhu, Nahan Acharya and P. Anand amongst highest earners in Sports Authority of Goa's cash awards. And former Test cricketer Raghuram Bhatt is the new coach for Goa Ranchi team. Elite group is a target, says Dayan Narvikar. And now the news in detail. Mumbai police arrested a sharpshooter in Goa. Brother of underworld John Dawood Ibrahim Kaskar, Iqbal was attacked in Mumbai by two sharpshooters. He belongs to Chota Rajan's gang. Mumbai police carried out this operation without taking Goa police into confidence. The Mumbai police arrested a sharpshooter of the Chota Rajan gang in connection with the Iqbal Kaskar attack case. Iqbal Kaskar happens to be the brother of Dawood Ibrahim. He was attacked on May 17th in Mumbai. Surprisingly, the Goa police were not intimated about the operation. The Goa police were kept in the dark during the entire operation. Till late Friday evening, the Goa police were unaware about the arrest. The Mumbai police held a press conference in Mumbai and confirmed the arrest in Goa. Sumedhu Rahman, the Mumbai police ko wanted hai. इसको क्राइम ब्रांच के प्रॉपर्टी सेल और यूनिट सिक्स के ऑफिसर्स को गोवा में कल डिटेन किया, आज उसको बंबई लाके अरेस्ट किया है। उमेर रहमान वाज वांटेड बाय द मुंबई पुलिस इन मेनी केसेस। आफ्टर द डेडली अटैक ऑन इकपाल कस्कर, पुलिस वे इन्वेस्टिगेटिंग इनटू द केस। द पुलिस कॉर्ड अ लीड अबाउट but the whereabouts of Rahman, where he stayed, how many days, is still not known. The police have recovered 11 mobiles from Rahman. The Chota Rajan gang is back in the news since the past two weeks. His involvement is already established in journalist J. Day's murder case. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Rajya Sabha poll is just two weeks away, but neither Congress nor BJP have declared their candidates. In current situation, five candidates of Congress are fighting for one post, whereas BJP has not yet found their candidate. Rajya Sabha polls are due on 22nd July. Congress candidate is expecting majority support from the MLAs. All 40 MLAs elect the Rajya Sabha candidate. Right now, this is the situation that can go in favour of Congress. Congress candidate for the Rajya Sabha polls may get support of 25 MLAs. Till now, BJP is having support of only 14 MLAs, whereas Anil Salgaonkar is the only independent candidate. 12th June is the last date to file the candidature for the polls, but Congress and BJP are yet to decide their candidates. BJP was expected to declare its candidate on Friday. Now they will declare their candidate on Sunday or Monday. But BJP is trying to grab the votes of BJP and a few Congress MLAs on the basis of MOI issue. So if there is any other thing by which MJ in Makaisa Sangla ne Shantaram Naik Nahi Munun. So let us see what happens. Bureau Report, Prudent Media. The youth wing of BBSM began their series of protests from Friday. First protest was held at Azad Maidan in Panji. The campaign will be held in every college in the days to come. The GVM's college and PES college will observe Black Day on Saturday. English boy, 
These were youngsters protesting against government's decision supporting English. The youngsters also comprised of students from Goa University. As a mark of protest, they marched from Kala Academy shouting slogans while passing by the education department along 18 June Road. The rally later culminated at Azad Maidan. Later students from few other colleges from Mapsa, Ponda and Marshall also joined in the day-long protest. Students were seen wearing the specially made black t-shirt as a mark of protest. Goa University is a very important part of the university. And the first time, 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 the the maximum burge goincha college ne ata sadya shikta tanche kade wo vishay pao pa khatir ami college jagrutai mohim hatan getlya ani am amche pratiniti pratyek college in asa ani eta te 15 disa mitar ami sogoy goincha college maddun kattale sogoy college goin petun galtale a few members of bhartiya bhasha suraksha manch also made their presence felt noted artist sanjay harmalkar drew a picture in support of the campaign a music CD of a specially composed theme song by Soiru Varde and Punanan Chari was also released for the campaign. Through internet and cell phones, they plan to make it accessible to students in every college. The movement that began with the Facebook group Get Well Soon Digambar Kamath is now gaining momentum. The group now plans to intensify their campaign in days to come by taking it to every college in the state. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Ongar Ferrari for Prudent Media. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned.